Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? From Slider, this is Webs over here. In this video, we are con gonna continue our discussion of the bank account program that we were making starting with the previous video. If you haven't seen the last video, I have included a link to that video in the description text below. So please go there and check it out. So let's again talk about what we had. There was the class bank. It had some variables and methods. Same with the class account and same with the class customer. Now in this video, let's build this class account further and see what can be done. So one of the first things that you guys notice here right now, this class account has no constructor. So if you go to the main method and if you say account, account over here and simply say new account, you can simply create an account object. But you know very well that when you're creating an account, you actually need some money in the account and you also need an account number. Otherwise, it's just, a, it's not possible to create an account, right? and hence we are going to have a constructor here that takes care of that there's going to be a constructor public account this is going to take one parameter account number which means the user has to specify the account number while creating the object over here at the top like you notice right now it says an error because it says the constructor needs an argument so let me comment this for now let's get back here later so inside this constructor that we have I have asked the user for the account number. I'm going to store that inside this variable account number by saying account number equals ACC. Remember, right to left, that's how things get stored in Java and in most other languages. So the next thing we need to think about is what is the other way that the person can create an account. If you go here at the top, at this point, if you notice, there's going to be this constructor here where we have to say something like A1 to 1, which will be our account number. The second way obviously to specify how much money you want to add inside the account and then specify the account number. So let's make that constructor that takes a balance and an account number. So here I'm going to go and say double a bal over here and then the account number. So at this point there is some something that comes into the picture. Now I could go over here and I could actually say something like minus five and the account will still be created right and hence we have, to, we have to take care that we are validating the data that is going in the balance. If I say something like just $50 over here, I can still create an account. But the problem is we have said the customer must have an initial balance of 100, which means we cannot allow this value 50 to be set up as the balance. So how do we deal that? So here, let's go to the constructor here, and I'm going to write an if else statement. I'm going to say if our balance is greater than or equals to 100, it's perfectly acceptable. Otherwise, it is not acceptable right that's our condition that we have so in the first case where our balance is perfectly acceptable I'm gonna simply say balance over here that should be equals to bal right in other words store this 500 into our balance variable over here but if it is not acceptable there are many things you can do you have several choices you can throw an exception here which we have not talked about yet or you can print some kind of message over here but what I'm gonna do here is very simple I'm going to reset the balance as 100 over here by saying balance equals to 100. So that takes care of ensuring that no matter what amount you enter over here, if it is less than 100, the balance will always be set to 100 over here. Now that is not really a good way to do it. The next thing I'm going to say account number equals to ACC, which we did right here above, right? So these are two constructors that we have right now. Again, there are several issues to work inside these constructors as well, but as we go further, we will slowly and steadily work everything. So now let's talk about the deposit method inside the account class. So I have written some statements over here to make you guys understand what needs to be done. First of all, in the deposit method, we have to ask the user how much money they want to deposit. Hence, there is going to be a parameter over here that's going to be double how much, something like this. So here the user, when calling the method at the top, is probably going to say something like this, account dot deposit and then he will say 500 here and then 50 over here and that is gonna go here into how much now at this point we need to check two things if the money is positive then add the money to the balance if the money is negative tell the person that he she cannot enter negative amounts we need to do this validation otherwise we will ensure that our program functions in a wrong way so what I'm gonna do is again have an if else condition here I'm gonna say if how much is greater than zero that means the amount of money that the user has entered over here is positive. If I enter minus 50 over here, then that is going to be negative, right? And the else condition will take care of the negative part. 
So if the money is positive, just add it, right? I'm going to say balance and add this money to our balance and store the new value inside our balance. So it's going to be balance equals to balance plus how much in simple words. Otherwise, what we are going to do is print a message that says please ensure that the balance is appropriate or something like that. So now one of the good things that we can have here inside our if condition when we perform the successful deposit we should print a message to the user saying that hey the money was deposited now that would be a good way of doing things right if you see the statement below in the else part where our how much turns to be negative I have written a system dot error dot print ln now if you guys are wondering what this means don't worry it's nothing it's just like system dot out dot print ln but the color of this text is gonna be red when it comes in the output window right here so now let's print that message which says the balance of so much was successfully put inside your account so I have just printed a message that says how much or whatever that money was say fifty dollars was successfully deposited in your account and the new balance of your account is plus balance so this is being printed here so that takes care of our deposit method so in the next video we're gonna talk about how to write this withdraw method because this is going to be very very tricky remember the first time you withdraw it's free the subsequent times you have to charge some transaction fees and again you have to check all these things whether it's positive or negative or whether the money is going to remain above 100 after you withdraw and all those little complex things and hence withdraw method is going to be something we'll be dealing in the next video in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know how you would write the deposit method in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.